Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. I am Nightfan of Everlice, and with me is... Is Rock in McMutton Chopper, and we're going to try and get some items in the sequence. And we ain't got much time. we got 15, 15 seconds to run up and down the car. And stop. Let's do this. Alright. Okay, first things first, what we got to do? Uh, what we got to do is that there's a dude at the far end of the car where we are right now. Go back there and talk to him, and he'll give us a phoenix down. Let's do it. Oh. And the other side, and clear. Okay, next person. Okay, the next person at the close end of the car, uh. where, we're, where we're anyway, there will be a guy on the left side of the screen. Looks kind of shady. He'll ask, talk to him, and he'll ask if. You, if you want something to come in, say yes, and we'll give you a high potion. Let's do it. Alright. Do go. Go. Go, 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 go. And there's a shady man. Yeah, I want this. Let's high go. High potion. Correct. Go ahead. Okay. What's left? Okay, what's left is that if uh, if you get bumped into by a pickpocket on your way down to the other end of the car, chase him, chase him, double back, chase him down, tell him you have him cornered, and he'll give you and he'll give you your stuff back. Okay, let's do it. All right. Hopefully, you won't bump into him on the way anyhow. Fuck, Barrett, Barrett. Okay, now now we gotta go. So, don't bump into him. Okay, go back, go back. Yes, got him. Look, get him. Busted, yes. And... Clear it. Oh, God. And all you have to do is run from here on. That's pretty... We did it. Thank Royal Rock yeah. Ninjas here. How the heck are you supposed to know to do that stuff without a strategy guy? I don't ah. even just guess what, I guess someone who's really... Maybe, like, or maybe you just say right beforehand and you feel like, eh, I've done this enough times before in my other playthroughs, I'm just gonna like try talking to people, see what I can get away with. And then that's how they found this stuff out. Oh, well, look, Paul. I'm glad that this uh, doesn't matter. Not now. Focus on the mission. It doesn't really matter either way, as apparently we have no need to worry about affection points until much later. Because, of that because I'm so... We are basically sitting here staring at these guys. I'm staring at the screen because I've no clue what I'm about to do. I'm just... Oh wait, no, I remember. I'm going to jump out the train like a crazy person. Yes. Because that's a thing. So I'm the beginning of the mission. Because the beginning of the mission is always best to begin in pure jeopardy. It's kind of like beginning beyond good and evil and then everything starts to shit in the first five minutes of that game. Or was it Oni and everything's gone to shit in the first ten minutes of that game? Well, know. let's see, uh, first, like, first, I don't know, like, first, like, one or two minutes of the second level, everything just goes to shit. Just, like, gangsters pop out with machine guns, start shooting up your, shooting up your dudes. That gets ugly. Yeah. I have no, I don't know about the world in I've, I've played Oni, because I, I've, I, you were the reason I Ooh. played Oni, by the way. I should have that. Um, I... I, I the reason you played Oni. Well, the reason I played Oni was that I saw it on your channel, and you're good at picking it. Indie games are quite good to play. Uh, so I know it's not technically indie, it's made by Bungie, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it was made by Bungie before they got famous for making Halo. Okay, we're gonna investigate what hurts these people, by the way, because they're just fucking throwing silk in their face. By the way, we gave um, Tifa and Barrett some more magic stuff, more materia, and have uh, some fun with it. We got doubled up for everyone. Everyone's got something to do. 
that's slightly different. Not only is it more interesting, of course, it means that we can do more damage to different status types. Not in my first game. Sorry. So it's just saw them do a physical attack as I expecting like so many like after all parts to disappear. Sorry, I have been watch I've been watching a like Persona 3 Let's Play and uh, it was something you have to get used to from an Atlas game or pers or just Persona or Atlas games in general. Enemies hurt. Of course Persona makes up for it that you can stun them when you hit their weakness. I do like the fact we're just running along the train line, and I... I've no clue, by the way, I should add, hesitantly. I've no clue if we're going the right way. I have not played this... I feel very sick. Now that I think of it, I, um... I should have been, like, reading the dialogue to see what, what direction we're supposed to do it, go. What direction we're supposed to go? That supposed to goo sense. Yeah. Don't you want to goo in the correct direction? I want to. Do in the correct direction? I don't know. We can goof all over the correct direction. Well, now I've added the P. Goof. Goof the correct direction. Yeah. Ooh, that does a lot more damage. It's just got people popping up playing. You guys, I'm busy saving the world from Mako! From, 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 from Mako drainage. From Mako drainage. I think someone said, was it the wiki for FF10 or something? There was a thing where this is fucking infinite. Um, there was a thing. Are we going the wrong way? If if we are, we are definitely gonna have a walk back. Holy fuck! Um, I don't know. I bet I just have to like go north. I think you're actually supposed to go up. Really? You're. Go I think you're going backwards. I assume there must be a reward if you really backtrack, because this is bullshit. I assume Silk slows down the, um, active time battle stuff. I would assume. I would assume. It's kind of sensible thing I can think of if I'm honest with you. At this point, I'm just wondering, you've got to have a reward. You've got to have something. You want to go back all the way. You've got to have, like, a little something, something for people who are going to make a games, this was a video game made before it, you were just lock, locked, in a, locked in a hallway and there were like multiple ways to go and if you explored you would get nice things. If you went the other way, you would proceed with the story. So what that was just video games work. So what you're saying is this is the Lost Woods era of video games where sometimes there's just a really fucking wrong way. That, that's that's kind of the, the impression that I got, where it's like, if if you go hunting around in the labyrinth for places where it's like, oh. you, you can't... Just, oh, hello. Oh, well, this is something. What? Oh, okay, so... Is that it? Is that really it? If I fight them, I just fight them? That ain't no trouble. That ain't no shit. Okay, so they're doing better. They're armed with claws instead of guns. That seems to oh, be... They have better guns. Their guns actually do... Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I guess people have lower defense in the cloud. But, um... They don't seem to be any less jobber than any of the people we've encountered so far. I mean... This is like, oh no, we got to turn back. We can't beat them. And we literally just... Curb stomped them. I mean, it's just like, we gotta turn back. This isn't. We, we can't proceed going this way. What do you, what do you bet there are reinforcements? Oh, yeah, re reinforcements. Uh, yeah, let's run. Nothing to do here except just get attacked over and over. I guess All if right. you wanna rack up good experience points, that's quite a nice place to can't harvest it. Apologize, by the way. I've been watching a lot of two best friends fight. I keep using their words. I just keep using words that make me sound like I've just been hanging around in an arcade all day playing Street Fighter. Oh man, I'm gonna get so curb stomped. I mean, it's boring. Hmm. These things seem to be weak to most magic, if not all magic. The physical damage on these are quite low. 
No, uh, I think it's two shots. It takes two shots from him. And with the amount of peak ones in this group, it's not worth the time. Well, so I'm just assuming this is leveling up our material. Or I always, I keep doing well, that. You don't have to use the tutorial now to level them up, you just have to fight, you just have to win a battle. I keep doing that. Sorry, I keep thinking that to, um... You're thinking that you're playing Fire Emblem, or you have to use your, your equipment in order to level it up. Wait. Or... What the hell is that? Spider web. Like, I guess it's, I guess, in, use it, use it in battle to inflict slow. That's what I remember about spider webs. Wait! No, that's yeah. wrong. No, I don't want to quit. <laughs> oh god. Right. Spider web. Yeah, you're right. It slows all. Oh, it just slow all. You were right. It, the silk thing, by the way, I was right on that. It was slowing us down. But now we can use it against them if we want to slow their turn order. Which is pretty neat. God, this. They really didn't think about how long. They wanted to make this um, train passage accurate to how long a train passage would be. Shit. Oh dear. Oh. What the fucking fuck? Hello. This is new. What, what are they? They appear to be dead. No. I was gonna say they're, they're like, they're the, um, the levers that you see on the left. Oh, okay, they're turrets. They're turrets. Okay, there's, might as well just mash it out, mash, mash, oh damn it, I'm using words again. Just might as well. Oh. Okay. We got Beat Rush, and I got an achievement for using Beat Rush. So that's pretty neat. I do like Teeth's achieve, um, achievement. I do like achieving Teeth. Well, I like going down the street and then being told, hey, you achieved Tifa. And I'm like, cool. And then you just keep away. I don't know, but I just got an achievement for using Tifa's first lemon break, so I'm alright with that. That's. That's. That's, um. I'm not sure what to make of it. I'm oh, yeah, Barrett has cure. Barrett has cure. Barrett has cure, doesn't he? Let's, uh. Oh, fudge. I forgot how to. Uh. Magic. Ah, oh, there we go. I forgot you have to change individually. Let's say use it on Tifa. That's pretty nice. It's all good. It's all good. We're down in the hood and it is good. So, been exploring any large train passages? Oh, finally. What it? Yeah. What it? All oh, right. It's pretty. I'm compelled to touch it. No, Cloud. Don't go into the light. But I love it! It's so green! What do we gotta do? We gotta look inside. We won't be able to come back. Hey! Hey! Hey, Rafi! Hey! I think they're implying that this section is the next well, stage of the game. This is where we proceed. I think this is where how we proceed. Yeah. 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 I think let's it's, let's go. Yes, do it. This Ooh, well, okay, that's a very weird slide. Just sort of slid like the ground was made of margarine. And, oh. and inopportune random encounter, of course, that's gonna be a thing. I remember that's a thing. Oh, okay, fine. We gotta just mash it. Map. I keep saying mash. We gotta keep fighting with body blows. Roll. What the fuck? That was actually quite strong. Don't be rolling claw me. Who do you think you are? You think you're some kind of rolling star aficionado? Don't be doing rolling things. Why? That wasn't even a rolling claw, it was more curved. It was more slightly 180 degree. Oh, I figured out why those little shrimpy guys in the back take less, take less damage. They're standing in the back row, less damage from physical attacks. Although I think we best take care of them, I'm sure. Ah, uh, yes, good. So, uh, either magic or just have Barrett shoot him, because Barrett doesn't give a crap about Rose. Barrett don't give no shit about no Rose, because he's got an assault gun, and that's used for violence. That's used for hitting things, no matter where they are. Ooh, FIFA. Wait, that's, that, wait, that's, that's a mortar cannon. What am I thinking? I don't know. It's okay. We're all thinking something, and what I'm th Did I go back up, or did I go back? 
Wait. I think you went. I think you climbed back up immediately after going down. That's that's what it looked like. That's some weird. Oh, oh god. There we go. And that the controls and that and like it ain't no thing. This feels like that section in I played in Pokemon Coliseum, and no one else will know what I'm talking about because no one I know has played Pokemon Coliseum. No one, really fucking no one. Oh dear. It's, it's like well, well, you'll have to educate me because I'm another one of those people. Well, I'll educate you, but only because you're nice and I like your chops. Oh, um, oh I know. It's sweet. The, um, in Pokemon Call Sim, there's a bit where you have to go down a giant stairwell, one of those things where you have to run back and then forth down it. I'm not sure how to describe the stairway. I think I think I get it, where it's like you come out where it's like you, you, you're pressing one direction key to move on to the next screen, but to but pre keeping on pressing that same direction key will make you go back to the screen you were just on. I know what you're describing. Because that sounds like a thing in many video games. It is a video and game it's... convention where they really have to go down a long winding stairway. I just would wish that I could remember what ones do that. Hell bubbles. That's the least threatening kind of hell I could imagine. Oh no! Bubble? Oh, you bullshit! That's, that, that is moderately annoying. Oh, no. Hey, at least it's not an Atlas game where they, where they have a power that instantly kills and instantly kills characters who are asleep. Oh, God. Oh, really? Are you joking? It, well, okay, well, at, at, I, I just remember that there's, there's a boss of Persona 4 who inflict really has like a full party area of effect inflict fear spell and will usually follow it up with a instantly kill anyone who's afflicted by fear spell. By the way, this dude bastard is really hard in. Carl, oh, you, could you not? Could you avoid that? Oh, this is. This bastard has a lot of health. Sitting at the back? Yeah, wake up Tifa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel the breath of her counter. Tifa deserved that because she was asleep for most of the match. That, that, that was, uh, took longer than it necessarily had to. It really did. Very, irrita very irritating. What, what do you bet just use magic instantly kill, instantly kills? It instantly would if I feel you yeah, that. Oh, it's Wedge. Oh, hey. Um, which I want to, but at the same time, there are other things that I need to look at. What happens if we don't don't follow the path? Do we get something nice? Well, there's this. Is that for, is that, no, that's not Holy Kingdom, is it? I don't think so. It seems to be something pointed that we're meant to look at, but... Um, by the way, as I said last time, this track is called Underneath the Rotten Pizza. Which is a name that just sticks in your mind. What a delicious sounding name. Sounds so delicious, I love it. Why are you sorry, Jesse? Oh, That's really... I really feel bad. Hey, we're alive. Je what? No. <laughs> okay. And of course, because Jesse's standing perfectly still, she's not get getting attacked by monsters. I just like the fact that no, I'm, just, I'm starting to think that maybe a, a, a equipping all, maybe pairing up all to one of your magic spells would be more handy. I have an odd feeling. You may actually be right. We need to find another all material. But I do want a cure all. Yeah, that, that would just like switch the all material back and forth and back and forth depending on what we're up against. Like, okay, boss fight coming up, switch all back to, back to cure. Random encounters, switch all to fire, ice, or lightning. I do like the fact that Tifa just kind of... I should emphasize, I find it cool that Cloud uses a sword, that's cool. Barrett uses a gun, that's cool. Tifa just punches shit like some sort of Final Fight Street Fighter character. I do like that sort of thing, as a character trait goes, because... Be basically because... Because the, because it's like it's a Final Fantasy game, and 
what did we have in previous Final Fantasy games? We had characters like Sabin, and we had like the monk class who didn't equip weapons, or when they did equip weapons, they were like they were like brass knuckles or something. So we got to have a character who punches things. And let's make it team up. It was glorious, and especially when you got to um, anything wrong with that. I do love that Sabin can suplex a train. Oh god. If there were, I think there are many people who talk about the legend of Sabin and was it the Nightmare yeah. Train? No clue by yes, the way. Yes, it, 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 it was the Ghost Train. I think it was the Ghost Train. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That, that can't weird to me out. Oh, okay. So either way we went. Huh. Where the fuck did Jesse go? What the hell? Who the hell the hell? Vanished like a fucking ghost. Was she ever here? What? That is such a taunt. That's such. There's a... actually something that I something that I, there's actually a place I want to see if you can go to that uh, I, that I'm gonna bug you about until you actually go there. So uh, go back the way you came, back to where you met Wedge. I um I would, but one moment. We're going to briefly pause the recording, and you will see. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, my character here, Cloud, the delightful chap he is, lost control and just decided to stare into the abyss of the world beyond this iron grate and wonder why. Why do we exist? Why do we live in a world where choice is meaningless, where all of my actions are controlled by another worldly being? Why, God? Why do you do this? And then, um, I had some and milk. The other worldly being is now wondering why can't I move his limbs? I think the reason why I can't what move his limbs. Oh god. Oh god, not this shit again. Oh crap, um... Okay. We're learning. We're learning. We don't have to deal with this shit. Yeah. Don't you fucking assholes! Ah, uh, great, okay. Keep them asleep. Luckily, I think I'll attack them and wake them up. Oh god, they have so much HP! Why do you bet they're weak to fire? I... Yeah, you're right, we should start investigating that shit. Ow, well, anyway, just because I'm a little anxious about Tifa's health, I would have Barrett first thing to do is use Cure. Good idea. There we go. Oh, they're weak to lightning. Everything is weak to lightning! If we keep forgetting Tifa's limit break, it's all about getting the roulette right. Because not doing so good at the moment. Strike here all. Have some of this juicy shit. It's full juicy, I love it. So good. Yeah. Mega cure. Just everyone in the, everyone is healed to full health. Damn. The pet barracks like really low on the wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use an ether. I'm gonna stuff that ether right into his massive face. Make them crank it all. And I'm starting to think, and I'm starting to think pairing all, moving the all material to cloud and pairing it to lightning would be a very good idea. Just because everything seems to be weak to lightning. All the most annoying enemies seem to be weak to lightning. You have a very good point. Let's, let's do that. So, okay. Okay. Let's change it up. Change up this shit. Uh, move. Lightning will move you out, and move Ice back over here, and we have some good shit, as the kids might say. Um, you... we got three ethers. Yeah. Alright. Let's do this. Let's, let's go. It's go time. It's go time. Yeah, meet up at the hideout. Cloud, oh, can't I... you... Are you serious? Why are you guys fucking off today? This is incredibly what? slack. Why did you guys come? Why? Oh, okay, there was a there was an item next to the save point. Oh, yes, yeah, you're, right. you're right. This is in. Ooh, it's a tent. I love a tent. Maybe it's a clue. Ah, yes, because because save points just don't just automatically automatically restore your health and MP as soon as you step on them. Yeah, I hate it when that. Which is which is cool. That's cool. It's very. It's it's fine. We'll live. Should we use the tent or no? I think we should just use some items instead. Yeah, we'll use some items. Uh, Aoife. Aoife. Um, Aoife and... 
you, you, you use two, you use your last two ethers. I've just used the one ether on Tifa because, like, otherwise our MP looked fine. But what okay, I, I guess ethers, I guess ethers are more common in this game than I at first think. Well, the reason why huh. I'll tell you for why is because we have a tent. So uh, if yes. things get troubling, because tents are amazing as yeah. long as there's a safe you can step on. It is. And also, I apologize for any small freezes in the recording. So, uh, can you now satiate my curiosity? Or will I cringe in dismay as you proceed with the story? Why, 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 you, okay, you're going to have to explain this, because you were telling me. Okay, so if you go back to where where we saw Wedge, there, there was like, um, if, there was, if you went off the beaten path, it looked like... Uh, a, a ladder leading down. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh. I see what you mean. I see what you're saying. Game, game, you be having a good Hello. time now. You relax. It's okay, just call your jets. Oh, oh she fucking what? what? Oh god, what? what? Oh god, what? Oh god, what? Okay, what? Well, I'm so sorry. I'm just doing nothing but using silk. Okay, <laughs> so, um. Okay, everyone. I apologize for what just happened. Okay, Cloud's, Cloud can use a gimmick break, but I think what we should do is Lightning Hall or Braver. Oh, uh, well, you can't really do much until you use this, so we might as well get Braver out of the way. Braver! Braver! That's pretty good. Bam. Bam, bam. Bip, bop, boop. Bip, bam, bam. Bip, bam, bean. Beans, okay. Now, now, I'm thinking, now I'm thinking of Ego Raptor and him talking about uh, about Mega Man versus Mega Man X. Oh no, you're doing exactly what I want. I wanted to avoid that, but in my head I was going bim bam bim bim bam bim bim bam. Yes, that. That's right there. Okay, I'm only, only, but yeah, for some reason, all these video games with all with all their violence and stuff are seem to be from, seem to be angled at people who just don't know how the world works or what's going on around here. They don't know Obama. I love it. I I don't. I'm and, sorry. And, and of course, cut to Nelson Mandela. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, well, no, it's happened again. I, I, to everyone who's <laughs> watching this and going, this isn't a. I'm sorry. I have to briefly gush with my friend here about how fucking great that episode of Sequelitis was. They don't know oh. Obama. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. I love that episode. Mainly just because it's just... Okay, clap all. Did I? Did I? Okay. Clap's turn and lightning all. Okay, we'll use bolt all. Let's yeah. bolt them all. I keep forgetting it's called bolt in that game, but it's called lightning for the material. What the fuck's that about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think that all... You did a good thing. You gave me a good idea. I love it. Kill everything really fast before it can do annoying stuff. So yeah, okay. So this is down from here, and there looks like there's a hole in the floor that you can climb down. Please tell me that's, or is it? Oh, it's blocked. It was blocked off. No, it's ah! blocked off. It doesn't want us it's to. It's not go. a thing. Denies us. My curiosity, I can satiate it. I'm not even sure. There's a big area over there that looks like you could explore it, but you can't, and that annoys me. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. oh Christ, not this shit again. Oh, 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 oh Cloud's turn. Bolt Hall. Oh, oh, right with you there. That's just so good, I love yes. it. Thank you. Yep, I love it. Good riddance, I don't need to. I don't need to get bombarded with rockets and being stopped in the tracks. But that fight, that fight against that fight we were just in. If this were an Atlas game, unless we did exactly that, we would have been killed. I have a very good feeling as someone who's played Etrian Odyssey. You're right. Oh, yeah, Etrian Odyssey. I love those games. I'll give all my time a day to Etrian Odyssey, but that game rocks my shit so hard. I think that I just need to lie down. <laughs> just if you've ever played, if you ever play Etrian Odyssey, which I advise you to, my good rough ninja friend over here. Um, there's a little enemy that is basically like a um 
an avoidance enemy. It's so high a level, but appears so early in the game that um. You oh, oh, the FOEs. No, it's even worse. It's even oh, worse than oh, FOE. Oh. It's like an FOE, but your level. If you're not grinding, which I do in the game, if you're at maybe uh. level three or four, maybe even five, and you suddenly face a level sixteen, I think Reaper they're called, which is great. Oh. It's like your world is not only rocked, it's cracked. Oh my god, how, how much of the, how many ideas from, from like, between Persona and Dream Odyssey cross over Atlas, Atlas, Atlas games? Atlas is it's like, like... It's like, first thing I notice about Atlas games is like, in Persona 3, it's like, physical attacks are divided up into, into like, cut, bash, and pierce elements. And the same thing happens in Dream Odyssey 2. And now there's a Reaper. I because in Persona games, if you if you like if you spend too long, too much time in a dungeon, you would eventually get attacked by the Grim Reaper, and he would kill you. Oh, by the way, uh, I should add we're going back up because I want to check if there are any items we might miss once we have all it. What the fuck are you? Gonna call this shit? How are you? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Okay, you're not dead. That worries me. This worries me. What the fuck are these? They look like Zero from fucking Sonic Adventure. That terrifies me. Nope. Kick them in. We won, which is a plus. They give good experience. What the fuck is that? Deadly waste. Why would I want deadly waste? I don't want well, deadly well, waste. Let me, guess, let me guess, it's an item that cast bio. Maybe it's just like a cartridge of ET for Atari 2600. Huh. Yeah. There was, you're, you am, I right? am I right? Yeah, bio 2 on all. And damn! Wait, why not just okay. let me learn bio 2? I'd love to learn bio 2, but don't just give me an item that does it. I want to learn bio... Oh look, it's a mega reactor in there. Action. Was that not working in the previous reactor? Because it wasn't frothing foam last time I checked. Okay, fine, you're gonna leap at me and do shit. We'll do this. We'll play the game. Do you know what we're gonna do, Graffy? We're gonna play the game. I, I just lost the game. But we, there's two people. There's two people I know today who've done that joke. Two! I am, you, you brought it up! I you did! We're gonna play the game. But I genuinely meant we're playing a game and we're gonna play more of it. <laughs> like good people. Uh, I don't even sure why there's a ladder there. That's distinctly a ladder, but it leads to nothing. They, sometimes there are ladders there for NPCs to use if this were a real world. Like, it's not just there for the player. Hmm. I see what you mean. Go, go upstairs, by the way, because genuinely it seems they're letting us have a long leash on where we're gonna fucking go before we blow up the reactor. This is different. Oh, I want to. Chest of it. And ether, just like here. And MP restore, max MP restore. Just have it. Just have it all. Oh yeah, you have to do this puzzle later. Uh, good. yeah. I wonder if we have to face another guard, Scorpion. I genuinely can't remember. Okay, fine, you're fucked. Oh, you're gonna, gonna strike Volt Hall just because. Because Mazio just. Yeah. <laughs> freaking, freaking Persona on the brain. You do love Persona. That is coming across. I've never, I've never played it, but uh, <laughs> uh, I love watching it. That is. Fair enough, that's perfectly fine. I have never played um, Final Fight 3, but I watched it today and I thought I can dig those people doing the moves. I've never... I didn't play Oni when I watched you play some of it. And then, I've, I'm not going to be lie to you, I didn't see much of it, but the bits I saw made me want to play more. And I have Oni. And when I get PS2s that can play purple discs, I will play more Oni, because it's a good game. It's a good game. Alright. 
opinion, anyone who hasn't played Oni, I really would advise it. It's really fucking good, which is surprising. It won It's really hard to get now. Like, like people will talk about these games, will talk about games like Psychonauts or Painkiller and stuff like these, these, these like under these underappreciated, hard to come by video games, like or or, or even like um, Terranigma. Right, right. And, and then there's Oni, and that's like I feel that's that. Sh I love it if that has become. That's, that that's a game that needs to that needs to become like a mega that needs to become more accessible. I I don't know. I think only where where I am only you can find ready copies available pre-owned. Oh, all right. But um, I I like only simply because it feels like this is Bungie making something really unique, which is don't lose control again. Oh, game, don't make me lose control again. Uh, let me just... No, no, okay, one second. Sorry about that again. Three times we've lost control of Cloud. He just wants to do a jig, just wants to do a dance. I don't get it. He wants to seize us and just stand there. Like some sort of creepy... <laughs> just staring ahead into the unending abyss that is life. And this seems a little reused. A little! Yeah. Tiny bit. I, 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 I'm, I'm more accepting. I accept it because, um, oh yeah, these guys are just gonna die. I accept it because they're all macro reactors built by Shinra, and I wouldn't be surprised if they all built them just with the same architecture. Oh, I'm, I entirely agree with you, and not only that, I'm not even gonna brag on that. I like the fact that even though it's reused, it's supposed to be. It, I know little differences are quite good, that's why I like the fact Steam was coming out of a few places that was different this time. But I like the fact that, hey, the Mako Reactors all share the same design, because they're the same fucking thing. Mako Reactors, that's that's good. Yes. Share that design. Hey, save, do you want to have some fun save? Let's have some fun. Okay, I'm going to save again. Save it again. Da, ba, da. Okay. Save this. Oh we, oh, we were talking about Oni. Okay. Um, yeah. So the thing we I. We were talking about Oni as we played as we played Final Fantasy VII. That seems like the perfect time. Um, what was I gonna? Okay. Those are new. Um, the thing that I wanted to say is uh. Oh right, I think the boss isn't yet. It's like, you know, I, I, think, I think I think needs some gear soon. I think Ow. so. Oh, wait, are, is he poisoned? I hope not. I hope this isn't an after battle effect. I really fucking hope not. I have no antidotes to that shit. Um, good. Punch, punch. Kick. Yeah, it's poison. Okay, I'll check after the battle if that remains. Um. So yeah, I was gonna say the thing I liked about Oni was that it had a weird ass sense of humor in places that just made me laugh. Like um, one, when what's that? That fucking batshit AI activates and it just. I'm being talked at. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I I got like both you. I listened to you and my dad was giving me some. Okay, go on. Just so I I liked Oni for its weird ass sense of humor, as I say. Um. Ah. No, a uh, game. Um, I uh, the battle with the weird AI that uh, becomes so deranged that it holds the world ah, ransom because it demands feet. Half another, half another brain have feet. Half another brain have hands. Daisy, Daisy, answer. Give me your answer, do It says in the subtitles, and then of course in the sound it goes. Mm. It does. I love that thing. Game. The boss. Pony. The boss fight, until I understood it, though, was a pain in the fucking ass, because I couldn't yeah. understand because it. Because trip, trip lasers, and then suddenly you're getting bombarded by poison gas and machine gun bullets. Oh. Oh. We're having a flashback, apparently. Antifa's got... had a bad time, and is wearing a hat. Apparently... Okay, apparently the Sephiroth person that we remember earlier... Killed her papa? That's great. You hate Soldier. Wow, you and Cloud must have had an awkward reunion. Ooh. I hate Soldier. Hey Cloud, are you a Soldier? That's great. 
You're, you're a soldier now? Okay, I... I no, just... Yeah, awkward. That's a little... That's Hari Cloud. That's Hari Cloud. I guess we're Hari Cloud. I know, you're my chaperone, right? Damn straight. That ain't good enough. Hey, it's good enough for me! And apparently it's good enough for our watching audience. Cause guess what? We're gonna blow the fuck out of this reactor. And it's the lit Oh, no boss battle? Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. Alright. Yeah, sure. I, I do think this... I, I do... My, my, my boss fight sense is tingling, so I do think now would be a good time to equip the cure all I need to repair her crowd. You make a fair point, my friend. So, we shall do that. We're managing... Yeah, there we go. Change material. So, put the all on... Yes. Okay. Oh, right. Um, oh. Is putting it all in a, in a, in a time only slot that, that doesn't work? <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> it fucking doesn't. Okay. Um, do that for now. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Well, before we head on, we shall do one last um, safety save, I'll call it. In case, in case boss just surprise wrecks us because of, because of like an equipment error or something. Those equipment errors, God love them. They're great. I love it when equipment going into the going into a fight with the wrong weapon, going into the fight with the wrong gear, the wrong setup, and suddenly you just die. That sounds kind of like the story of my existence. I'm not just within the world of RPGs. Just going into Burger King, don't have the right equipment. Oh man, go don't have the, don't have your wallet with you. Uh, go go back in. Yeah. Gonna get wrecked. Oh, okay, okay, you're the fire. That's what I'm not too worried. I want to save a little MP. We're gonna have to just. Punch the shit out of these dudes. All ladies, we don't know their gender, or if they have one. They could be asexual. They're, they're, ba they're battle droids, I don't think they have a sex slash gender. Sure I, I need to do research on research on this because I feel I feel dumb as as someone who thinks of himself as not being homophobic. I feel that I still do not understand enough about gender. No one because I I I will before you continue to Jake and say the acknowledgement and study of gender is a subject that even experts on it would probably. Still need more years of study, as more and more knowledge about his personal gender and other people's uh, sexualities and identities come forward. I think uh, it's entirely all right to perceive yourself as needing to learn more. We all need to learn more. Yeah. So uh, don't worry too much about it. Yeah. Punch so, these dudes. What my what my sister says is. Uh, it's a legitimate. It says about all this stuff is. It's a legitimate strategy. <laughs> you don't want to date. It's a legitimate strategy. You only want to. You only want to date one sex. It's a legitimate strategy. You want to date either sex. You don't care one way or the other. It's a legitimate strategy. You. You are. You have a given body, but you perceive yourself as a different gender. That's a legitimate strategy. If it's a perfectly fine strategy. If you want to go with it, if you want to exist in your life as someone who does any of that, then go for it. It's not going to really affect the end result of our lives as a whole. So, oh yeah, I have to do. Oh fuck, I forgot this. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to push the button at once. Okay. Okay. So again. Nope. Whoop. <laughs> That'll take a while. One, two, three. Okay. We'll be here a while. We <laughs> will. Is, is there a oh. sound up? There we go. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, Ooh hello game. Hello. Oh wait, no. No game, don't be doing this. 
Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a thing. Yep, one second. Sorry about that, everyone. But again, it's really... I'm gonna figure this out in the next episode. We're too far into abandoning this one. So, yeah, I, I'm just... It's so going to be a thing. You're, you're gonna go fight one of, like, the secret bonus bosses, and that's gonna happen, and he's gonna kill you on the first turn because you couldn't move due to technical issues. It's gonna suck, so... So, yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure, maybe it's something to do with Skype, I, I don't know. But hey, at least everyone's leveling. Everyone's gained levels, it's all good times. I feel like maybe we should use the tent. Yeah, let's use the tent. Good idea. Let's this, this, is, this, is a, this is a Squaresoft game. Plus it's a good place. <laughs> it's not that brutal. Unless it's Chrono Trigger, in which case I hear it's very brutal. Chrono Trigger, I played. Chrono Trigger? Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger was... I had no problems with Chrono Trigger except for, except for one boss, but that was just because I went in doing something stupid. Well, I, oh, this is a nice angle. Let's leave. This way. Okay. Well, we did blow a lot of shit up, so it's perfectly understandable to one think this would happen. By the way, new sound. Our next track, uh, uh, I believe it's called um, The Theme of Shinra, and we are facing President Shinra over here. This feels so, this feels so like a, um, just try, trying to import a story from like from like a medieval era Final Fantasy game into a modern era be because where it's like you have the confrontation with the sinister lord in these in like these medieval game in these medieval era games. But here now we're having the co this confrontation with the president, and it's like ah uh, really this. Seriously, so it's like change the setting so there's like me medieval era characters, and 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 instead of instead of having President Shinra of the Shinra Corporation, we have some we have like Lord Shinra of the of the I don't know the the Shinra we have like Emperor Shinra of the Shinra Empire or something, and then suddenly it makes it feels a little less out of place. Hmm. I. I've forgotten entirely the strategy for this boss. My my vague recollection is that is that you um, you pincer attack it, and uh, yeah, you you pincer attack it, and you take turns attacking, take turns with your party attacking while its back is turned and it's facing the other facing the others in the other direction. Oh, okay. But all you have to remember is that now um, cure all. Will not cure the entire party. It's through like one side or the other. Okay. So you're gonna say so like keep, keep Barrett on standby. Okay. So we're gonna use so, ice to be on. We gotta figure this. We gotta figure out. This is this is not keeping Barrett on standby, but okay. So. Anyway, so. Bolt. Let's try bolt. Mm. Ow. And I wonder if program one operation. Let's get a big bomb. Okay, so bolt's gonna hit. Now okay, we're break. so if we hit from the front, it does counter attacks. Or I hit from a certain side. But now, so let's figure this out. Does that mean. Ooh, that's quite nice. So we have to attack it from the front to get it to just do counter. To just do that. Okay. Looks like. So, uh, Barret, on Barret's turn, heal Cloud, I think. Yes, for well, luckiest time round. Big Bomber again. You are again. You are already turning into a pain in my ass. Ooh, Barret. Okay. Ooh, big rush. But, yeah. But, yeah. Remember, Barret's name. Main order of operation is cure. 
just use that for nothing else. Use him to cure, or sometimes when the face. Uh, but yes, now he's gonna heal, so he's not gonna heal Cloud. Perfectly fine. Oh. Because all will only target one side of the pincer. This is really gonna get into a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yeah. At least this is not at least this is not Atlas Great Enemy, otherwise Cloud would have died by now. Turn function non operation. So Okay, I'm going to do that. Program 1 means that it can turn and start hitting people. So for now, yeah, let's just fucking lay into this shit lord. Although I love the term shit lord, I think it's hilarious now. This is a really great camera angle, Dad. Um, what the fuck are you? I think you killed it. Whoa! That was easier than I expected. That was really fucking easy. Weirdly easy. Try to make it. We needed what? I I was completely over prepared for this. That but... was a bit strange. Okay. Oh crap. Oh, we've got a uh, uh, hurry. I think is the fan playing in the background. Not the damn thing. There's still so much I want to tell you. Which one? Uh, see, I don't know if I can hold on. Lose affection points with Barrett, gain affection points with Kiffa. So, this one. Yeah. You, Barrett, you said that right in front of Kiffa. Really? You. Real classy, jerk bag. And there goes Cloud. Are you, are you, why are you implying that only women are allowed to to complain about? Screw you, machismo dirt bag. Sorry about Fuck. that. Uh, I kind of blew up. No, actually, no. I'm not sorry at all. I feel completely justified. It's perfectly fine. In flipping middle finger. Oh, another flashback. Back then. Can you get up? We have a conversation with our psyche, which is always uh, interesting. We're having a conversation with our in, with our inner voice, or something. Hello, hello. Oh, hello there. Hello, plot. We're gonna catch holy hell for ruining her flowers, aren't we? Oh, it's okay. Maybe she'll forgive us. Maybe she'll fall in love with us. Who knows? Who knows? Because that just has to be a thing. Any female, any pretty female character the male lead meets is just instant, instant, instant potential love interest. Indeed. But the because. This yeah. one is interesting anyway, because when on. you think about it, it's really fucking weird. And we'll explain later exactly why it's really fucking weird. P.S. Yes, it's really fucking weird. Flowers here quite was resilient to being fucking squashed by a giant ass. <laughs> oh, Cloud. You're such a kooky dude who falls out the sky. Oh, by the way, this is a lady. She might be important. I don't know if you know. This. Oh yeah, this is the flower girl who we bought flowers from earlier. Yes. And since we're seeing her for a second time, and she has such a unique character design, she's obviously very, very important. Mm, she is the uh, Deus X X X X X X X X X Machina on top of a Deus X Machina. Oh wait, shit, now I can move. Is there a save? Can I have a save? I don't know. So we meet again. Yeah, we remember you. Cloud doesn't, but we remember you. Which one? Let's see. Hang on. Uh, it doesn't matter either. Oh, yeah. we'll be nice and say, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, met metagaming. We could be total jerk. We could be 
total screw screwing around and say you're the slum drunk. I kind of want to see what happens if we say that, but your choice. I'm too nice. I I can't. I don't I don't think Cloud is funny enough to pull that off as a to make that sound like a joke. Aww. So yeah. She was selling. Cloud strikes me as something very serious. I do have materia. At least you can find materia anywhere. My special is good for absolutely nothing. Oh, you're really foreshadowing. You're just saying that. Oh, there's a cat walking across my desk. Hello, cat. It's my mother's. It's clearly, your mother must have been a non-important NPC that we'll meet at some point. It's a pass. It's okay. So it's a passive material that increases luck. Here we are meeting again. Yeah. I guess we'll just say, I don't mind. Check my flowers. The lich. The something I will about um. Okay, getting into the meta game of of like the whole affection stuff is um. A, a, from what I gather from the guide you're using here is that you can you can be as you can you can be you can go ahead and be like civil and pleasant with with Aerith. Sorry, did I spoil it? Okay, with the flower girl. But uh, if you, but since you really want to max affection with Tifa, when it, when you must when you gotta choose between favoring Aerith or Tifa, favor Tifa. Mm. So yeah, I spoke just a few seconds beforehand. Hello, Aerith, so, my favorite character in this game. So we're gonna do this. I realized, but wait, I just remembered. Uh, she is my favorite human character in this game. I do have another character who I just like on principle of. What he, what what his species is? I don't know what species is. Oh, dope. Oh, who's this shady fellow in the oh. background? Oh, he's just fucking walking up like it ain't no. But when I first saw, uh, by the way, this character's name is Reno, and he's fucking rad. But we'll discuss why later. But um, when I first saw Reno just pimp in like that, I was just like, who's this fucking guy? I'm in the middle of a cutscene. I was literally pissed because there's this, this asshole wandering Ooh. in, in the middle of a cutscene that I'm having. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'll just be at the back, don't mind me. Get out of, get out of the shot, you fuck. You freaking prick. Or whatever, or whatever Christian Bale said. This is really... And literally, this keeps happening. We keep talking like it's a nice, silly, funny thing. And Reno just stands there. He stands there like, yeah. Like, who? <laughs> and, and meanwhile, we're thinking, who the hell are you? And why haven't you two noticed him? And then suddenly, oh yeah. There's this jackass. Sorry, bad timing on my part. What do you mean? Why isn't there a save? We're near the end of our recording session. I can't find it. Fine, yeah. we we'll just have to do the story, I guess. I guess we'll have to do the story. It's up with you, man. Oh, well. Don't let it get to you? What are you talking about, don't let it get to me? What are you... This one to... Okay. Have you ever been a bodyguard? You can't do it. There is a guy just standing there, and we're just having a conversation, Eris. You're great, but... Okay. Maybe he's maybe okay. Maybe he's not as creepy as we first thought. Maybe he just came here to pray. <laughs> to the suit, and he's and he's pretending not to hear, just to be polite. Just pain on the mind to me. I'm I'm just here to to, to say some prayers. That's By the it. way, the theme we're hearing play right oh, now. Oh wait. Oh, oh, this one. I wish I could hear it. This this. This 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 theme is so smooth I can't take it. Don't know now. Do you want to say the name of it or shall I? Let's see. It's the Turks. Theme. Indeed. The theme we have playing now is simply called the Turks theme. Or the Turks, if you want to go like that. The Turks. And uh, the Turks are both some of the nastiest assholes and some of the raddest motherfuckers we will meet in this game. You're gonna enjoy them, we're gonna enjoy them, but here they come. Don't know me. Don't know Obama. Know you. That uniform. Yeah, suits are a uniform, by the way, now. This, is, this one's a little weird. Shimmer Spike. Reno! One of, so we've, we just met Reno, and Reno don't give no fucks. None of the fucks were given by Reno that day. 
Reno in the film is turned in Advent Children is turned into a comedy character. Reno in the I, in, in the video game is this intimidating badass with red hair. Hmm. And he's so smooth you can't take it. I will make her eyes. I wanna get to work. Reno really is kind of a badass too. Oh. Don't step on the flowers. And don't step on the flowers. You stepped on them yourself. You stepped on this yourself! Reno, oh. you such an asshole. <laughs> that, that seems really tough. By the way, random battle. And guess what? Hello. Eris is on the team. And she likes to hit oh. shit with a little putz pole. Power pole! By the way, I am going to try and get some of uh-huh! That, that attaches you to just like, yeah, bap! She really does like hitting So, just like this, this overheaded swing just, rah, bam! Like she really wants to bash that thing's brain in, and then she just dusts herself off all pretty-like, all lady-like. Oh, uh, how very classy. Er very Eris is the classiest. I don't, have, I don't have as much to gush over Aerith, even though she's one of my favorite characters in this game. Though, well, so yeah, she, she's one of my favorites in this game. Though, I don't like her to the point that I'm gonna gush all, gush all over in excitement about like my favorite things about her. So this bit, I can't remember, is one of those real time things which piss me off because if I get it yeah. wrong, this is all been fucked. Yeah. So. Make sure they don't get through. The ancient is getting away. And Eris goes fucking oh. down like a sack of shit. I love you, Eris, but damn, you went down. Okay. okay. Alright, so which barrel? Okay. I I don't have the guy I I'm not right there at the guy, but we got uh, time. Let's see. Yeah, I I think we got so time. Which one? So answer whatever you want here. I'm actually, I'm actually going to look it up really quickly. So let's see. While we wait, let's uh, briefly discuss the fact that I hate quick time events because I suck shit at them. I I really wish that sometimes choices was oh, one of the... For me, it really depends on, um, what, on how well the game is made for you to be able to react quickly to things. If it's a JRPG where you're not required necessarily required to react quickly to stuff, it's a pain in the ass. But if it's an action game where you're expected to react quickly and the game is made for you to be able to react, easily react quickly to things, it's not so bad. I see what you mean. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Is it? Yeah. See, if there's no opportunity to gain points with Tifa, but we lose points with Aerith, then I'd rather, if we gained no Tifa points, but we could gain or no way. Oh, shit. No, we don't want to be a dick to Tifa. Yeah. That's a thing. So, whichever one basically loses no points with Tifa, but makes Aerith happy as well. Well, yeah. That's that's fine. So, whichever one of these does that will go on. Where is it? You might want to cut the recording here while I try to find find find. Good this idea. Guy. One second. Hold on a minute. Is the right answer? And then push the west. Okay, arrow. welcome back. And as you just heard, we are safe. Hold on a minute. All right. Got what's so, up? westmost barrel up here. And you're pausing? Oh. I forgot okay. my buttons for a second. Okay, so the west Oops. barrel is this one. No, I, I guess it's the I guess it's the one on the left side of the screen. But there are two. The far left side this of the screen. One. Yeah, I think so. So yes, push it over. Hey, nice. We did stuff. Which is the next one? Okay, just just wait for just wait for Eric to call for help again. And this is the part where it feels like in a shooter game. Okay. Okay, so push the one at the top of the screen. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, uh, I, these are working in ways I did not expect. 
If this was like Half-Life or Half-Life 2, you could just look at the barrels and look at the layout of the map and know what to do. Also, yeah, hi. Quit bugging me. Oh, I got gave the raw material back to Barrett. We're busy so saving Aerith. Aerith. Fuck. Aerith, Aerith. Not sure what she the way it sounds airy. But, yeah. Now, just now that I'm remembering, like, things about the game, one of the things I remember really liking about Aerith is her, is her, like, const is her, like, constantly positive, is, like, her constant and infectiously and contagiously positive attitude. Like, when, when, even when, like, everyone else is miserable, she's like, stop fussing. We're gonna be fine. That's a good attitude to have. I guess I see that reflected in Tifa's sort of... Inwardly quite depressed, but outwardly very strong persona. It's why I like her, and I see why you like Aerith. Or Aerith. Fuck! Okay, so now we know exactly what Aerith called. Wish. Hold on a minute. Hold and which on one? A minute. This one? Uh, yeah, this one. Because if you will tip it over, it'll land on the stick, land on the stairs, roll down, and knock out the guard. Oh, yeah. right now you got some really stupid assholes working for you. Did the did the game? Oh, there we go. Can we come out the, here? the screen share hung from there. All right. Cool. Please don't make this another fucking mini game. Okay. Fair enough. You're not you gonna join the party? No. Okay. We're fine. We'll live. Yay. We. Who gives shit about? Okay, we're just sitting on the top of the chat. And suddenly the church is tiny. Church is tiny as fuck. We can put models in there. Yay. Oh, by the way, uh, Ares here gets hunted a lot by the Turks, who really love to hunt people. Also, involved a lot of other dirty stuff. Mert, spy. So yeah, Reno's uh, kind of a dirty bastard. Kind of a scumbag. Kind of the scummiest of bags. Maybe you, you want to join? Oh, I'll get cool by Eris in Soldier is hilarious as an idea. Love it. R running around as with a bow staff, n knocking people out. Mm. Works up, works with, works with the team, and just like is fe is like field medic or something. Oh yeah, this bit. Or maybe just... I'm stereotyping. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, this bit's just jumping at the boat, gives us a nice view of the plate up top, which I... And of course, it, it's harder to jump in a skirt, so keep, uh, appreciate that, Cloud. Are you out, out? Oh, you're cut out to be in Soldier. <laughs> My potato sack body is amused. Used to be. How do I guess? You're wearing pants that are baggier than MC Hammers. How do you think I'd fucking guess, Cloud? Also, your eyes look. Oh, yeah, your eyes look very interesting. Ah, uh, so apparently, 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 soldiers are treated to radioactive waste to give them superpowers. That's sp comic book logic. This is really comic book. This is some Spider-Man shit right here. Look at Cloud was Spider-Man. That'd be so cool. I think we're in... I, I think it's coolest that Spider-Man is Spider-Man and Cloud is Cloud. Mm. Yeah. By the way, we're in, um, I think we're in Sector 6, which is the slummiest of slums. <laughs> we're slumming it hard when we go to Sector 6. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. So, shall we go straight to Aerith's house, or, or is there stuff we find if we go the other way? I don't well, know. Well, oh. Actually, let's save here and call we'll it. We'll call it right there. That might be best. Oh wait, should Aeris be in the back or the front? Aeris, fuck. Uh, let's see... Her weapon is short range, so she do more damage with physical attacks if she's in the front row, but since she's kind of, like, primarily healer, you'd probably want to keep her in back row so she doesn't get beaten down that much. Also, she has very little health. And probably less defense, so yeah, I say back row. Oh shit, we got all our material from Barrett and the other. Oh! So we might as well, um. How brilliant! So. So yeah, 
lightning all and then put like the rest of the, the rest of the extra material on it. Aerith. So we're gonna material the shit out of you, Aerith. By giving you yep. um Restore, obviously. Yes. Or, oh, do we still have that Titan Bangle? We do. Yeah, and so so Titan Bangle on Aerith is cloud. For now, we're gonna put it on air because she does. She needs more material slots, I think. All right, so so let's see. Oh, let's go with fire. Fire and ice. We're gonna duel it up like it's proper, and we're gonna have lightning all for cloud, just in case any more machine bastards turn up. So on that note, of course, I'm gonna thank you all for watching. I'm gonna thank you, my roughly list, my ruffle, my ruffle. For being here. I'm gonna thank you for having me on. I always oh we're in sector five, which is the slummiest of slums. And I was now kind of a voice, this was Robin See Jumper. you next time for more slummy oh. slum. See you around the internet, everyone. <laughs>